Hello and welcome to this screencast on Meteor Application Template React. This is the first of, I don't know, four or five screencasts. We're going to go through the code um, and explain everything about it, all the cool things that are about it. At any rate, let's start by bringing up the system. Uh, to do that, you got to go into the, um, you've got to download it from GitHub. You've got to go and CD into the app directory on your local computer. You probably also have to install things if this is first time you've done it. Um, that looks like that. You'll get some messages, peer dependencies, don't worry about it, vulnerabilities, typically those aren't a big problem. We, they prop up, you know, when we try to fix them when we can. But then you're going to do a Meteor NPM run start. That's the basic command to get the system going locally. And uh, what you'll see is it has to build things um, and it takes, you know, generally depending on your computer, maybe about, you know, 15 to 20 seconds. We're starting up a MongoDB server. We are creating the default um, users and some default data. And then you'll see this thing app running at HTTP localhost 3000. So if we make a copy of that URL and move to a browser and paste that in, we get a screen that looks like this. That's the landing page. It allows you to log in. So we could type in um, one of the predefined accounts, john at foo.com. There's a default a password that you'll see where it's set in a second. And once you've logged in, you'll see that now we see who's logged in up here and that there's some additional things added to the menu. And so basically the idea here is landing page you can see certain kinds of information that are public. Anybody should be able to see that. However, to see some of these other pages, you need to actually be logged in. And in fact, there are roles. So there are regular users and admin users. And we'll see what's available to you. The pages that you can retrieve um, are uh, available to you uh, based upon the fact that you've been authenticated, that you've logged in, and then what your role is. OK, so we'll start with the list stuff. You can see that um, the, when we started up the system, we created some default data associated with the admin user and the user John. We created two users. Um, and so here we're seeing that default data. And then there's an add stuff. So we could add some stuff. What stuff should we add? Why don't we add a canoe? Um, and we'll say there's two canoes. And it's they're in great condition. So we submit that. We get a little menu saying that things were OK. Click OK. And now if we go to list stuff, we'll see that we have a couple canoes. Uh, you know, if we hoolied, something bad happened, and it's like, oh, they're not so good anymore. We could update any of these fields. But let's just update the condition field, submit. We get another um, um, dialog box indicating that the submit succeeded. And now you can see we've downgraded our condition um, from excellent to good. OK, so that's the two um, pages that are available to you as a, a user, a regular user. We can also log out. And we can log in as an admin user. Okay, and as the admin user, um, you can see everybody's stuff. Okay, so um, one of the other features of this template is to show you that when you're logged in as a certain user, you can't um, see the entire contents contents of the database. You can only see the contents of the database for the stuff that you're authorized to see, which is normally the stuff that you've owned that you've added yourself. However, the admin user is a special role. If you log in and know the password for the admin user, then you have access to um, all the things in the database. So in this case, we can see um, the, this admin page lists everything. Of course, we have the regular list stuff page for an admin that shows the stuff that the admin user owns. And we can add stuff as an admin user. And that will be their stuff. But, but uh, because the admin has access to everything, we can build a special page that shows that capability. 
Okay, there's a final um, part of this. If we sign out, there's also a sign up page. You can add a new email address, submit, so forth. That's it. That's how Meteor application template works from the user side. And um, I think your first step is to basically, oh, one, one other thing I should be talking about, right? Um, and that is that the first time you run the system, okay, um, you're going to uh, create all the default users. And if you run it again, what you'll see is this time we don't create those default users. So that only happens the first time we run the system. If you want to understand why that's the case, you'll have to see the next video in this series. Aloha.